Hello, and welcome to this 9-minute overview presentation released to support our technology exploration research for security sensing. I'm Jamie Blanche, and I am a research associate working for Microsense Technologies Limited at Heriot-Watt University in Edinburgh in Scotland. Working in partnership with the Smart Systems Group, we are located at Heriot-Watt University's Riccarton campus. I am pleased to present this briefing titled Concealed Weapon Detection Using Non-Contact Millimeter Wave Sensing. I'll open this presentation with a brief overview, starting with the state of the art, where I discuss the current methods of concealed weapon detection, including their advantages and disadvantages. I'll outline the motivation and value creation of millimeter wave sensing before moving on to the results of our laboratory trials. I'll then provide a technical summary of the system and the associated opportunities and risk reduction potential when utilizing our technology. I'll conclude this presentation with a statement of what we at Microsense Technologies Limited can offer before leading to our company contact details. The state of the art can be boiled down into high and low tech categories. These are X-ray scanning and the physical body search respectively with each having notable pros and cons. X-ray scanners have the advantage of a proven success record in concealed weapon detection. The images on the left, for example, show clear and unambiguous threats with detailed imagery of what are obviously concealed weapons. The X-ray scanning method requires no direct contact with a suspect, but comes with the disadvantages of fixed location use. These systems are large and not very portable. Therefore, target compliance is required to stand within the field of view of a heavy and expensive X-ray scanner system. This can be slow and inconvenient process for both the operator and the public user. Another disadvantage is that these tend to be high power systems with, while not dangerous, an appreciable radiation output that must be taken into consideration for regular use operators. By contrast, the advantages of a physical body search are that they tend to be quick, with an immediate make safe of any concealed weapons found by security services, and with the obvious disadvantages of physical contact and direct and immediate exposure to a potentially armed suspect. This is a significant vulnerability for officers and security personnel in the field. The value creation of millimeter wave sensing in security applications is focused on risk reduction. We offer the potential to monitor suspects with concealed weapons from a distance in dynamic and challenging sensing scenarios. The sensor does not require a visible line of sight to the target and can operate in darkness, mist or smoky conditions and with the potential to return data through low dielectric materials such as clothing, plasterboard or concrete walls. No direct contact with the target is required with an operating range of tens of meters, which adds to operator safety. Integration of the developed sensor to real-time telemetry allows for standoff assistance from support personnel, reducing risk to the officers and public on the scene, while simultaneously communicating with centralized intelligence databases. The system also reduces cost, providing new, previously inaccessible data via low-power, low-radiation radar, which is low-maintenance and highly deployable. The system provides non-contact and non-invasive measurement for quick, concealed weapon location and identification. Our sensor has been benchmarked against state-of-the-art X-ray devices and represents an alternative to such systems, but at a significant fraction of the cost. Overall, the millimeter wave system has the potential to offer a significant enhancement of security fidelity and target identification via the immediate provision of vital intelligence for officers on the scene and remote operations commanders. For this trial, the sensor used was a non-imaging radar sensor. Even in this simplest mode, there are order of magnitude variations in the return signal that can offer a traffic light alert system indicating the threat level for concealed objects on a person. The test shown here used a small kitchen knife which was concealed within a belt. The target stepped into the field of view of the sensor and turned slowly through 360 degrees. The red portions of the above graph show the sensor response to having the knife in the field of view. 
Between 70 and 120 seconds, the knife was visible to the sensor, even when obscured by clothing, and was visible again between 220 and 250 seconds, as the target returned to facing the sensor and with the concealed weapon visible to the device. The measured armed target baseline, shown as a red dashed line on the plot, is significantly contrasted against the clean target baseline, shown as a green line, and the no target baseline, shown as a blue line. This laboratory trial represents the simplest form of the device, a handheld, non-contact, traffic light output system sensor for easy operation. Further developments of the sensor system will represent an imaging system, providing an easy to understand user interface, intuitive for the operator and requiring minimal training, revealing concealed weapons from a safe standoff distance and allowing for secure and decisive interventions from police and security personnel. A summary of millimeter wave radar sensing details many advantages and opportunities to reduce risk for both officers and the public. The sensor system represents an innovative, non-invasive evaluation technology and requires no optical or visual contact with the target. Even in its simplest non-imaging form, as shown in these tests, the sensor can detect high permittivity contrast agents through visually opaque materials such as multiple layers of clothing and also in low visibility conditions like smoke, fog and low dielectric solid materials such as walls making the sensor suitable for search and rescue operations, as well as the provision of intelligence in dangerous urban environment situations. The sensor has been deployed and ruggedized, with results relayed to digital twin and augmented reality architectures. Our system has a technology readiness level of 6, meaning the sensor, while still in development, has been successfully operationally deployed and is undergoing iterative design refinements. The sensor is capable of distinguishing human presence within highly restricted and often harsh operating environments. Further development of a full imaging millimeter wave sensor system will offer the ability to detect and differentiate weapon types in real time, providing officers with vital intelligence while approaching a dynamic situation with an unknown threat level. Overall, the sensor represents a low-cost payload able to reduce the risk to officers in situations which have the potential to be dangerous and which require a rapid response and threat identification. At Microsense Technologies, we are dedicated to assisting our society, our police and security services. The development of the millimeter wave sensor system is one example of how we can support the critical services of the UK's police force in serving society. During these challenging times, it is important that strategic alliances and partnerships are formed across critical service providers and the public institutions that serve society. We understand that the factors behind criminal behaviour and activities are complex and include both social and economic factors. At Microsense Technologies Limited, we know that technology has a role to play in the detection and prevention of crime, as well as providing support for the victims of crime. We intend to make available our knowledge of artificial intelligence, sensing and digital technologies to Police Scotland and their colleagues throughout the UK to support their efforts in preventing crime, protecting society and delivering justice. Thank you for watching this technology briefing. Our individual and company contact details will follow this slide.